With fewer than 100 days until the elections, Taiwan's presidential contenders are staking out positions on key issues, one of which is social housing. Where exactly do they stand? To get answers, the Social Housing Advocacy Consortium met the DPP's Lai Qingde, the KMT's Hou Youyi, and Ke Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party. At a press event on Wednesday, the civic group said each candidate brought some promising ideas to the table. They chant slogans for housing justice. The Social Housing Advocacy Consortium, an alliance of 13 civic groups, met with presidential candidates Lai Qingde, Hou Youyi, and Ke Wenzhe to compare their policies on social housing. I think Vice President Lai Qingde is very clear. As part of the ruling administration, he stresses the continuation of existing policies. He aims to build new construction on government land. Besides that, the next phase will focus on a large-scale push for urban development. The group applauded Lai for his social housing target, raising the Thai administration's promised 200,000 units to 500,000 units. It praised Ho's plan to build social housing near public transit and to crack down on vacant units. It also approved of Ko's proposal for a social housing SOP. But the group said that the devil was in the details. Next year, we will have social housing from both the central government and local governments, but the rent management systems for each of them may differ. So I think unifying these mechanisms into one system should be a top priority. The Social Housing Advocacy Consortium presented six proposals to the candidates, diversifying the ways in which social housing projects are started, making rents more affordable, having social housing projects be steered by local governments as opposed to the central government, incorporating a waiting list of social housing applicants, reviewing mechanisms for rental management, and introducing social housing welfare programs. The responses we received from the three candidates were quite positive. As long as we can all agree on the Ministry of Health and Welfare strengthening social housing policies, further issues can be discussed. With just over three months before the 2024 presidential election, the group is asking candidates to commit to solving Taiwan's long-standing housing problems.